Hello, my friends. My name is Chris Sanders, and I am super excited to talk to y'all at this year's Tech Mania. Now, I'm originally from West Kentucky. I grew up in Graves County, where I went to Lowe's Elementary School, Graves Middle, and Graves High. And now I run a company called Applied Network Defense, where I'm focused on teaching people how to become better security analysts. And I am also an information security author, having published six books in the field. Now, one of the things I get asked a lot is, why did I choose cybersecurity as a career field. And it really all started in Graves County. I was interested in computers from a pretty young age. And at some point I started helping my teachers uh, with their computer problems and folks in the district took notice. Eventually when it came time to, to move on and graduate, the district offered me an opportunity to work there as their first full-time network administrator. So I basically was the administrator and ran the Graves County computer network uh, while I was working my way through college at Murray State. Now, that was a pretty fun job, and it was mostly focused on systems administration and IT work, but I eventually got really interested in the security side of it and started doing work with what is called an intrusion detection system. So basically, a piece of software that would look at packet data traveling across the network and look for evidence of malicious activity. Uh, of course, eventually, I found some malicious activity and was able to investigate it and figure out what happened and resolve that. And that was just very exciting for me. I was kind of hooked from that point and I knew I wanted to do cybersecurity work. And that eventually led me um, a few more years in IT before I left and I went to work for the US Department of Defense doing intrusion detection and investigative work fo focused on cyber espionage. And then I did that for a few years before moving on to the private sector and eventually starting my own teaching company where I teach other people to do similar types of investigations. Now, how did I prepare myself for, uh, for cybersecurity and that career path and even my current job? Well, I think a lot of that comes to learning how systems work. I think most of us know how to use a computer. We know how to get on it and, and do the things we want to do. But how do those things work on the back end? How do they work at that lower level, at the place where forensic artifacts would be left that we would use to prove things happen on a system, even when someone might be trying to hide them? That's the tricky thing. So the thing I want you to think about here is, well, what are the most common things people do on computers? Well, they log into them, they run programs, they maybe open and manipulate files, and all of those things leave various forensic artifacts. Uh, even just this normal computer use would do that, let alone malicious use. So if you start to understand how those things work and you understand what normal computer activity looks like at that lower level and how to find proof that these things occurred, well, you're already a lot of the way there to becoming a forensic analyst and doing that type of work. So what I did was really set up a home lab. I started experimenting and testing with those things, um, playing around with my own system and, and doing packet capture and looking at, at timestamps and modifications of the file system, looking at all those different forensic data sources. And that really gave me a leg up and, and gave me the skills I needed to get into the field and to begin to do this work at a pretty high level. Um, the other thing I did was really learn how to explain complex behavior very simply. So all those things I just talked about learning, be able to explain those to people who weren't entirely technical or weren't nearly as technical as I was. So the thing I would tell you is to learn one of these complex topics and be able to explain it to maybe your mom or your dad or your brother and sister or friend who isn't necessarily as into technology as you are. If you can do that really well, it's really going to set you apart. And it certainly did me for my career, particularly as I began to write books about these things and teach people about them. I was able to bridge the gap better between people who, who weren't as experienced and, and people with my level of experience at the time. Now, as far as tips I would have for high school students considering cybersecurity as career, I think first understand that there are a lot of ways into cybersecurity careers. A lot of the time that may require you have some existing experience in technology that might be in IT or systems or network administration like I had. It may also be in programming or some form of information assurance. It is often the case that you may need a little bit of, of hands-on experience in other areas of IT. So definitely seek that out and really anything you can do to learn, again, how systems work and, and how they operate together on a network is going to give you a leg up. <clears throat> that said, because there are so many different pathways into the field, doesn't mean it means that you don't necessarily have to focus on any specific one. So you don't have to be a master programmer to get into information security. I'm not. I would not consider myself a programmer. I can write a little bit of code in various languages and look at written code and kind of decompile and understand what's going on there. But I certainly would not consider myself a developer. Some people take that pathway and that's fine, but you definitely don't have to. 
Beyond that, the other tip I'm going to give you is to really consider broadening and expanding your horizons in terms of the things that you learn about. Particularly for those of you who are about to head off to college, you get a few electives. I highly recommend that you use them and use them for something different than tech. You're probably going to get a lot of tech classes if you're interested in this field. Consider a couple of other things and allow me to make a couple of recommendations. For one, I would consider an introductory psychology class, like a Psych 101, where you're going to learn a lot about behavioral psychology and learn how humans operate. Computer security is inherently human. You are a human. You will probably be investigating things in a security role. And it is humans who are attacking networks or writing the malware that is used to attack networks. If you understand humans, you're going to have quite a bit of a leg up in understanding how this works and asserting yourself in the field and building that skill. Also, I might consider maybe a political science class or some type of government class uh, to better understand the systems that are using the technology. Uh, a lot of the, the, the jobs right now in cybersecurity and where my background is, is in espionage. So government stealing things from other governments, which is every bit as exciting as it sounds. And there's a lot of cool things to be done there. Uh, but it really helps if you understand not just the technology, but what the technology is supporting. And that's all these political systems, um, the information warfare and espionage facets of that. That's going to be very valuable to you. So certainly consider stepping outside the box a little bit, getting a little bit more familiar with things like psychology, politics, history, and connecting those to tech. We need more people who can do those things. Now, with that said, you know, the field of cybersecurity is, is really still pretty new. This field is evolving and it's really only existed as a formal dedicated job role for maybe 15 or 20 years. That presents a lot of challenges, but it also gives you a chance to really leave your mark. Um, you're going to have a chance to mold the field. You're not just going to participate in it, but you're going to mold um, and change the way that that work is done, which I think is a pretty exciting thing. We ultimately need people who are good, strong, morally convicted people to do this thing and people who really think about right and wrong. We want people who understand this notion of evidence-based practice, using actual evidence to make decisions um, rather than the non-evidence-based things. Ultimately, cybersecurity is engineering, and that means taking a bunch of known quantities and arranging them in the right order so that everything makes sense. So we need people who can do that, people who can follow the facts, and particularly people who think differently. Um, everything works be better when you have a large diversity of thought that goes into providing solutions, and we need more of that in tech. Uh, chances are, if you're watching this from West Kentucky, you probably would consider yourself to live in a pretty rural area. We don't have a lot of rural people in cybersecurity right now. We need more of them. We need you and people like you in this field who come from different places, who think differently, and just provide different ways of looking at the same old problems because that's how you move an industry forward, and we really need to move cybersecurity as an industry forward. So with that said, I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for listening, and I hope that we'll talk soon. Take care.